Okay, so the Saber Firebird, this, this is uh, what the ship looks like. It's pretty, pretty beautiful, actually. Uh, we're going to be checking it out today, giving it my first impressions, having a deep dive, have a look, see what it's uh, all about. Um, it's meant to, like, be an alternative to the legally <laughs> exclusive uh, Saber Raven, which is a very cool ship. This is what it looks like. Uh, it has, like, cool little cutouts and stuff. It's a very iconic ship in the Star Citizen game. But it was an exclusive deal with Intel. So, I believe they can never put it on sale. So, for those people that want a Saber Raven, I present to you the Saber Firebird. Uh, hopefully, it's cool. We'll check it out, see what it's all about. And, um, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Let's go. Right, so, here we are on the old Star Citizen. Um, before we get in started today, I just want to introduce you to this, if you've not seen it before. This device here... Is going to dramatically change the game in a couple of weeks. So, you're used to, if I just make my face smaller, being able to anywhere in Area 18, grab any loot. Um, you don't even have to be in your hab. You could be in the, in the hangar. You could be in the shop. Everything's accessible. And this goes across the entire game. Once you're at a location, you have like a location storage that you can just pull from wherever. Everything is going to become physicalized, which is crazy because it means... Every time you want something, you're going to have to go and grab it from the machine. And that is just such a bizarre, like, everything's physicalized and you have to actually think about it. You can't just land. You have to go to, a, like, a vending machine. You have to think, like, everything. It's almost realistic, guys. Anyway, um... Yeah, I just thought that was worth mentioning. Um, <laughs> it's crazy how that works. Hey, the door work. Noise. Um, so, yeah. I, uh, I'm i looking forward to checking out this Firebird. I don't know. Like, Star Citizen's changing so much. And this is kind of like a, like a topic for you guys in the comment section. Like, yeah. Do you even want the game to be like that? Where you can't... It kind of removes the gamified aspect of it and it makes it much more um you know challenging in a way like you have to actually land go to one of these vending machines i'm gonna call them and collect your stuff um obviously you have like a freight elevator as well but it's just a really weird difference uh that has never been in the game before nothing like that you've never had to met you've always had the inventory system to grab stuff and it was one of the easier aspects of star citizen now they're changing all that, so you have to actually go and go and collect it. I don't know. Am I am I making a big deal out of this? Is it really not that big a deal? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Hey there, guys. I was just talking to Editor Jack. Is it jarring to go from this? Hang on. Let me just get off the train. Is it jarring to go from this to, like, immersion? Full immersion. You guys are living through my eyes right now. And then just kind of pop back like this and go, this is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if it's any good. What do you think? I don't know. Like, that format, I kind of think is quite cool. And I really like the full immersion of Star Citizen. I think it's such an immersive game. And it's kind of doing it a disservice to kind of just pop my head out on the side. I've talked about this so much. For live streaming, it's a bit different, I think. But, hmm. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna rock the immersion mode, and if I want to talk to you guys, I'll I'll pop back, and everyone will probably complain. Just leave your face on it, uh, or remove your face. Just make your mind up. I'm fed up with listening to you talk about it. But the thing is, guys, it's the process. You know, you really try and hone in the art form of a YouTube video. Also, I think this is uncomfortably close, and I need to reduce the zoom, but, uh... It's also comedic effect, so I'm all for that. Right, I'm walking into a wall, that's great. Um, let's carry on here. So, we're going to be checking out the Firebird today, and I'm very excited about that, because from my very initial impressions, it looked freaking awesome. And they've actually made some changes as well, which I want to talk about. Uh, is it Anvil? Aegis. Or Aegis. Or Aegis. I think it's Aegis. I think you guys told me it's Aegis. Which is kind of weird. Because there's definitely an A there. But, whatever. 
You guys are the boss. Hangar 2. Firebird. Let's just call it the Firebird. That's easy, isn't it? Here we go. Hangar 2. Um, now, apparently they're going to be making some changes to this ship. So, at the moment it comes with 12 missiles. Has a reduction in... Um, missile in, sorry, <sighs> emissions, I think, of like 20%. So they're going to double the missile count to 24, and they're going to increase the stealth ability of it by another 20%, so it's 40%, which is pretty good. Um, let's get back in the game here. Oh, look at that. I think I said it before, but I absolutely love the end of this. It's so different. You've got such like a tail. And it makes sense. It's called a firebird, obviously. Um, you've got the raven as well, which is a little bit different. But I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I miss... Like... So this is a picture of the saber raven. Has the really like, cool iconic holes. And I really wish there was a way they could have had the holes in this ship. Because they're, they're so cool. But... I feel like if they'd done that... <laughs> it would just look like the saber raven. <laughs> Oh, man. But, like, if you don't know, so it's got to be legally distinct. Um, because, I think I said at the beginning, Intel had this exclusive ship. Uh, it was given away in some hard drive or something. And the promise of that was it would never go on sale. And you could only get it via this promotion. Unfortunately, everybody loves the Raven. It looks super cool. But now no one can buy it. So, I guess this is kind of them trying to, like, give you an alternative. Um... I think the raven still looks cooler because of the uniqueness of the, like the holes in the wing. I think that looks super cool. Um, but I don't think this looks bad. I think this still looks like if we only had this, if we'd never seen the the raven, I'd still really like this. Like the cool little tail lights, it's little nice little touches. It's very aerodynamic. You've got the intakes above and below the wings. Um, yeah, it's cool. Interesting loadout. So you've got Mantis, I think these are. Gatling guns. I would change them. Um, nice feet. <laughs> Weird pickup lines from Ollie43. Hey. Nice feet. <laughs> um, anyway, that was a weird moment between you and me. Um... <laughs> Oh dear. Um, but yeah, the really cool iconic part about this. I've, oh, 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 we're just in that logo. I think branding's so important. That's pretty sick. Um, yeah, I think the best part about this ship is the rear engine jet section. It looks really cool when it's lit up. Let's get in. Let's see what the cockpit's like. Uh, let's see here. End pilot seat. But a lot of, okay, I'll be honest, a lot of people were, uh, actually I'll talk about that in a minute. Just let it load in here. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite interiors. Having all the control panels there, the really not intrusive. The windshield or glass, I don't know what you'd call it. It's quite low, so you can kind of see below you quite well. Um, so that's pretty neat. Let's change. Yeah, so at the moment it comes with 12, and it's going to come with 24 missiles. And there they are underneath. Oh, dude, that looks really cool. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see actually, but they kind of point downwards a little bit, or like at an angle. Um, so they kind of like fire like that, and the idea is you're flying along this way, right? They fire down and then scoop up or whatever, which is really quite cool. Um, unfortunately though, I'll be honest, missiles at the moment in Star Citizen do not function as well as I would hope. They're very easy to shoot down torpedoes, the AI are just way too good at that, and the missiles just seem to never really hit. So, that might be a skill issue on my part. Maybe I've got the wrong <laughs> missiles or something, but I never really seem to... It never seems to do any damage, so let's turn on that engine. Oh! 
Oh my word, that sounded awesome. I think I've got the audio slightly quiet. No, I don't. Hang on. Let me just turn up my audio. Listen to me geek out about this freaking audio, man. I feel like it... I feel like the timing's not right, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. When they come back... Oh, they already made the changes with the missiles. But someone needs to change when the light comes on and that audio kicks in. It's not synced up, man. Like, that sound needs to pump as soon as that light comes on. Because it happens when you turn it off. Yeah, no, they need to sync it up. Sorry, that's my only complaint about this ship so far, is the light from the engine does not sync up with the audio with the engine. That's super, super, super picky. But, my word. I like it a lot. Right. Oh, wrong button. Awkward. Um... But yeah, anyway, that's me spending 20 minutes looking at it. Let's see how this thing flies. Ooh. I do like the sound of it from the inside. Uh, let's request exit. You are clear to launch. Uh, let's go into nav mode here. Ah, oh, that's cool, isn't it? Interestingly, there's holes there. <laughs> What's that all about? That's the raven. <gasps> what? Oh, no, 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 no. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Someone mucked up here, guys. <laughs> why is there... <laughs> why is there no shadow? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, that needs tweaking, huh? Wow. I'm surprised at that. I do like the animations for the feet. That looks cool. Uh, we could get another look at the missiles, actually. Let's have a little zoom in here. I think it's this bit. Ready? Wow, that is cool. It's quite a big section of it, isn't it? It's a nice animation. Underneath it looks like... Um, you can see the holes have been covered. Which is kind of an interesting thing. Let's look at the feet. Very nice. They kind of jitter a little bit. And I think that's a really nice touch. Anyway. So, Shadow... Shadow, awkward shadow situation out of the way. Um, is very nice so far. Oh, damn, that sounds good. Wow. Thank you. Please visit again. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. This game, man. Like, when you take a moment, it's so hard. You know, I watched, it's funny, I watched somebody else play this game for the first time the other day. And all they did was what I'm doing now, and like, they were so blown away. Like, it, it's fair enough, it is very cool, but you get so used to it. Oh. Loads of room. There's another one over there. Oh, it does look... Look at this thing! Holy crap, this looks cool. Okay. Oh, man. I don't know if my perspective is going to be right for this. Oh, my word. That actually looks sick. It's so stealthy. <laughs> yeah, man. 
Like, with the cloud tech, I... Okay, I'm sorry, I pressed the wrong button. You've been staring at my face the whole time. But, this cloud tech, man. Something special. It really has an effect on how this looks. Look at this. Oh my words, I just... <laughs> oh yeah, that looks seriously, seriously good. Oh, come on guys. It looks awesome. Okay, so I'm jumping into the video. I'm actually live streaming right now on Twitch. And I just, like, was looking over the ship really closely. And I just really want to show you how amazing and delightful <laughs> these materials are on this ship. You kind of forget about this stuff. And, like, you saw me kind of not really go over them. But upon second glance, there are some really cool textures. Which might sound dumb. I grant you. But... The variety and colour is quite substantial. I just think it's quite cool. So I just wanted to show you that. Um, it's really nice. <laughs> I'm just here taking a thumbnail for the video uh, whilst I'm streaming. But, um, yeah. Very cool. Right, I'll put it in nav mode. Because, believe it or not, that was just the uh, standard SEM speed. So this is a fast ship as well. Oh, Oh, that looks... Oh, there's a... This looks so good. Yeah, this is a very far ship. See, see if I can replicate. Oh, goodness. Abort! Oh! Oops. All right, so we're back. Uh, while we're on the way to the bounty, I just want to say it might be that the shadow, the screen thing that I mentioned, and also the retaliator in my previous video might be like a shaders compiling thing. Um, I do, I think, I'm pretty sure I deleted all the shaders in my previous update. I don't think that's a valid excuse because as much as CIG put it in descriptions of patch notes, the vast majority of people aren't going to do it anyway. So either they need to create something that will do it for you. Um, or that needs to not be an issue. Because I'm pretty sure most people just don't do it. Obviously, I think hardcore people do. But yeah. I don't think the average gamer who jumps in Star Citizen occasionally is going to really pay too much attention. Right. Let's um, do this. We're getting close. Let's jump out of this we are going very fast by the way holy let me just break because i want to check out the missiles that's a quick way to break <laughs> oh man sweet stuff uh one thing i want to look at actually is the fuel so i don't think we can make it to microtech how much fuel we got uh doesn't actually tell me. Can we make it to Hurston? Yeah. Can we make it to Microtech? Yeah, no, not enough. So, not. can we make it to Crusader? Can't even make it to Crusader. So, uh, this is definitely a short-range fighter engagement. So, ideally, it would be carried to various locations. And you deploy it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Something worth noting. Um, means you can't really use it every day, but anyway. Let's show you what this thing's capable of. Uh, one interesting thing about this ship is you can load up six missiles at once. Which is kind of bonkers. Um, I'm very, very, as you can see, I've loaded them already here. So that's cool. So we're going to try these out. Um, if that doesn't work, <laughs> I've got another six missiles. 
And if that doesn't work, I'll have to use ballistics. And if we don't succeed then, this ship's useless. Or I'm useless, or both. But I'm sure we'll be fine. This is a pretty low risk target, so don't imagine we'll have any issues at all. Right, so there's our target. Oh, that's cool, man. Look at them all go. Oh, man, that was cool. I'm going to fire them again just in case. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got him, guys. Let's try and kill this guy. What is this? Oh, another razor. All right. Can we kill the razor? Oh. Here we go. Are we fighting now? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my goodness. This sounds so brutal. Okay, I swear his... Whoa. Yeah, okay. We should be fine. Oh, he's red already. <laughs> oh, nice. The engine is so loud. I'll have to get Jack to reduce the game audio. Because I don't even know if you guys can hear what I'm saying. I just want to see this crash. Wow, that's really... <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> Hold up. Let me just put in the landing gear. Landing gear that was cool. Landing I'll be honest. That was really... That's kind of what the ship is designed for. Sneaking up on people. Firing six missiles. Um, that's a huge, you know, damage output. And then you've got the ballistics clean up. I'll be honest, the ballistics did way more than I thought. So maybe they've been changed recently. I just want to see. Can you... I've never really done this before. I don't know how much of that you didn't see. Jack's going to cut for me. Um, but this, is, this is the dream. I just wanted to highlight. So, yeah... Say, in combat, I damaged my ship a little bit. Um, well, we find the guy that we just blew up. Use this thing to kind of grab some salvage. And then we go onto our ship, hit B, and then we repair. Now, thankfully, our ship is fine. But, you know. Let's see if we can patch it back up here. I've never actually seen it go in reverse. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I like the sound as well. Huh. And like, imagine you don't get to repair your ship very easily. This is what you'd have to do. And um, the kind of a cool thing is, obviously, you've got a bit of a battle scar going on. That's, that's quite cool, isn't it? Somehow I've managed to save 9%. There we go. 3%. There you go. Completely fixed. But obviously you get left with like this kind of cool scar effect. Alright, well, there we go guys as I <laughs> throw stuff down the mountain. I never usually come to this uh, moon here of Era 18, voila. Very moon-like. Very, very cool. Like you can see the stars and everything in the distance. It makes for some cool cinematics. Just get rid of that. There we go. Nice bit of server desync for the good measure as well. 
But yeah, persistence. It'll be there. Anyway, so this is the Firebird. Um, I'm going to spend a bit more time with it and probably follow up with another video. Um, sorry about the few camera errors today. And um, if you want to... Wait a minute. Keep watching this video. Uh, I got a pretty cool video that I did last time on the Retaliator. It's all about the modularity. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it was pretty cool checking out how that worked. But um, yeah, we had some issues, so it wasn't all perfect. Um, gold standard, which I don't know if you could call it gold standard. Maybe that's just me. Anyway, go watch, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.